warm welcome once more everyone to our first uh, Travel Massive Montenegro live webinar. Um, I got contacted by Nikki before ITB Berlin this year and you all know what happened to ITB Berlin. It got cancelled and everything we got was hashtag stranded in Berlin or alternatively um, hashtag what we wanted to say in Berlin and I was I was disappointed because I was really planning to meet her personally and uh, we continued conversation anyhow and um, I looked deeper into into her um, in innovation and I was like wow this is interesting and uh, if you had asked me like a year ago 2019 um, would I would I be joining uh, so many virtual events that I have done in the past um, weeks? I would have said no. But then a week after the ITB cancellation, more or less a week after, we all went into lockdown and 170 countries got closed and there was no other choice but to start keeping meetings, gatherings, conversations online, um, teaching and learning, going for a drink with people without going for a drink, uh, doing a pub quiz um, in London with unseen tours, um, exercising in the morning. Actually, I have learned Pilates. Boyana, you will like that. <laughs> and listening to amazing concerts and, and music and, and, and streaming, um, doing work, of course but also getting a lot of inspiration. And the craziest thing I did was on the 30th of April, um, Finland has one of the, I, I would say it's the biggest party in Finland, is the 30th April called Vappu. And I joined a virtual Vappu party with 200,000 crazy Finns, uh, with a great concert in the background, of course. So this has been my month. <laughs> and and I believe of many others uh, as well. So I have become very inspired about these digital new uh, opportunities. And this inspiration I saw also in Nikki's um, innovation, We View. And her invitation is actually this, um, for people to travel tomorrow, to, to keep dreaming, to start dreaming, keep connected, find new connections, make new friends, uh, get inspired and informed. And we must keep in mind that not everyone is able to travel, either missing the money, the time, the health. Um, and also there are a lot of travel restrictions in the world. So to see the world, in your hands is the subline of of uh, of we view and i'm so happy to uh now give the floor to nikki to uh start sharing her idea and uh yeah what we 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 view is about nikki i'll stop sharing my screen you start sharing yours and uh, the floor is yours Thank you, Kirsi. Thank you for the introduction and thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Nikki, the founder of WeView, a virtual tourism platform which makes it possible for all travel enthusiasts to visit any place, any site, or event in the world in real time, personal, and lifelike experiences. And as you can see, in WeView, we believe that you can see the world in your hands. Before I start to talk about with you, I have a couple of questions from you that you can answer by raising your hand. So have you ever visited another place in the world virtually? Have you ever re uh, been part of a virtual guided tour? Great. 
We are connecting today to talk about Review, a unique and new virtual tourism platform. We want to tell you how it was born and how it does work. And we want to tell you that the opportunities that we view give to the virtual tourism platform and industry. This place called Tagabustan, which means Ark of Garden, and it's curved by hand in a stone goes back to thousand years ago, which makes it so unique that it become a world heritage site. Now imagine that you are a virtual tourist watching a statue of kings inside of that ark while your tour guide is explaining to you how special this place is and how much history and culture it carries with itself. It's just the little plans of with you in action. And yes, that's me in the picture, perhaps even looking better. And since I founded with you two years ago, I become expert in the technology and the developing branch of virtual tours, which lead me to be featured as one of 100 inspiring women travel founders by Travel Master. The story of the grand prize. In my way of introducing WeView to the world, I sought to validate my business idea by participating in 2019 social entrepreneurship and tourism competition. And you can imagine my surprise when WeView actually won the grand prize. Now that you know what WeView is all about, let me welcome you to watch some of our souvenirs from previous review guided tours. This is a virtual guided tour from some sites in America for virtual tours in Iran, which would be me laughing and smiling in all pictures. And as you can see, the distance between these two countries is almost, almost 12,000 kilometers. And there are also visa requirements for entering to the United States for some countries. But I've made it to make a connection with a travel enthusiast in America. And I asked her to show me some places around her. And in return, I will show some places around myself to her too. As a result, she took me to Washington Monument, Smithsonian National Park, and also African American Museum of History and Culture, which was so amazing because we visited all these places in detail and I had lots of fun connecting with locals without even being physically there. This is another virtual guided tour from a light festival in India for virtual tourists in Germany. This light festival takes place once a year in October. And if you want to travel there to visit it personally, you should probably spend more than 2,000 euros. But we've made it to cover this festival for a whole week for free for our virtual tourists. This is a virtual guided tour from a museum in Iran for virtual tourists in Turkey and Sierra Leone. And again, as you can see, the distance between Iran and Sierra Leone is almost 12,000 kilometers, which make it as if you want or someone wants to travel between these two countries, the airplane trip is one with the largest carbon footprints, which means it has high emissions of CO2. This is another virtual guided tour from a mosque in Turkey to virtual tourists in India. This mosque is the second largest and one of 10 most important mosques in Turkey, obviously for the artwork of mosaics that it has inside, as you can see in the picture. And we have started our collaboration with Montenegro. You can see the old town of Kotor in the right picture 
two national parks in middle pictures and also the Millennium Bridge in the capital city. Montenegro will be added to the list of countries that we are going to cover. And all you travel massive members who have interest and skills to show places around themselves to virtual tourists are welcome in our community. I'm happy to say that just in nine months, we were able to cover more than 20 countries. And now we are expanding our community to countries that we've never been there before. For example, Russia, China, Australia, more countries in Europe, more states in America, Canada, and South America. And in we view, we believe that the world is a limit. I want you to check out our WhatsApp group. This is where we gather our community. And as a virtual tour guide, you can introduce places that you can cover virtually. Or as a virtual tourist, you can choose between offers that we give you. But what's the opportunity behind all this joining our community? We view is an inclusive platform offered to all humans around the world. Our only selection criteria is qualifying the ability of tour guides, for example, use of technology or the knowledge level that our tour guides is going to have. WeView is now working on developing a sustainable revenue model for continuing to operate as a social entrepreneurship venture. And in this field, we also welcome and accept recommendations. We are planning to feature our virtual platforms, early users as VIPs, which means these VIPs are our honorable members and we are going to spotlight their virtual travels when our community, the numbers in our community is keep increasing. There is always a good news around here. For example, our community is growing organically by word of mouth. We have qualified members who can attract and qualify qualify new and potential virtual tour, virtual tour guides and virtual tourists. We are mentoring all our trips because we care about safety and qualified quality of our tours. We are building a database with digital souvenirs and at the end, global inspiration has never been easy, easier because in our community, everyone get a chance to meet someone from another country or another place that they would have never met otherwise. Our response to COVID-19 was that we were able to increase the size of our community more than 50%. We were able to add more destinations, more remote location and more places to our virtual platform, for example, Myanmar, Nepal, Yemen, Sweden, Montenegro. And also now we are coordinating more virtual tours at places with less public safety risks. There is also, there's always a small city somewhere which are in less risk, but at the same time, they have spectacular views and places to share with the world. And this is our main theme. You already get to know me. And Panos Corellis is with us since we won the competition. He helped us with communication and strategy. There are also people working behind the scene, tour managers, communication managers, graphic designers, web designers, photographers. But if you want to collaborate, partnership, or talk to us, just connect to us, you can reach us too. And I have to add another good news that our site is under construction. 
we already had a website for almost a month, but we had some difficulties, some technical issues, but the good news is that we are going to have it again very, very soon. Until then, you can get notified about us in our social media, our updates, improvements, news, and again, in with you, you can see the world in your hands. Back to you, Kirsten. Thank you, Nikki. Um, fantastic presentation. And uh, I just sent everybody a message to uh, please pose any questions that you might have um, in the chat or if you feel like speaking uh, rather than writing, it's also okay. We are, we are not 100 participants today. No? Um, Can I step in here quickly, Kilsey? Please, please, yes. Mm -hmm. Nikki, thank you very much for this wonderful presentation. So um, uh, I hope you have seen that also some of the, the student groups uh, are here, which are working on the, on the next uh, uh, level of the um, competition you won. I would like to give you uh, uh, this feedback that what I see at the moment from a research perspective, what is going on, I sent you an email yesterday that different, so uh, I, I put it the other way around. One really big question is how destinations can stay in contact in times of COVID-19 with their potential customers or earlier customers or so on. And they are doing a lot of funny stuff like uh, I send you the link to the Faroe Islands uh, and this is nearly um, another idea of that what you are doing at the moment. A little bit different but it shapes a little bit the direction and also Portugal um, uh, launched a really interesting video and this all is the idea of how to stay in contact in times of crisis and if I look at that at the moment I think from a business perspective, you have already competitors. And this means you are really on the right track. So go ahead and um, take this possibility. You are much better than a lot of destinations in contacting via social media and you have a really good network. And I hope that Vivu is going ahead and using this kind of crisis at the moment as a chance because all the others are like heavy boats and you are a small sailing boat. You are much more flexible and uh, you can really um, very fast go ahead. Good luck therefore. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. You always support me. Here is one question in the chat, if I, if I may share that. Uh, there are coming more. Okay, let me scroll up a little so we don't miss anything. Um, Michael, Michael uh, from Montenegro, um, Uchiha, he's asking some questions so far. Where can I offer my tours? Where can I find the platform? I'm already a member of the WhatsApp group. No? So let's take that first. Where can I offer the tours and where can I find the platform? He's already in the WhatsApp group. Nikki? Oh, sure. Uh, hi. Uh, you can offer your tour to the admin because admin, admin take care of our offers uh, in our platform. And our platform is going to come up with the website. But until then, we find WhatsApp easy to use, easy to follow, and easy to understand for everyone that we are connecting around the world. So uh, the platform is basically where we gather our community, as I said, uh, in WhatsApp. You can share where you can cover as a virtual tour guide with the admin, and I, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure the admin will take care of that. So I just opened my mic. I don't know. Maybe you can hear me. So we have been already we have been already in, in contact, and uh, uh, you know that I'm member of this WhatsApp group. But still, uh, it's not clear to me uh, how this works. So how will people 
find my tour. For example, we will start, if everything will go well, this weekend with a tour. Uh, we make already some live uh, events, maybe you heard about that. And uh, so my challenge is now first uh, to get the viewers, so to, uh, it's a marketing question in the end, and uh, of course a financial question. Will people pay for that? So for example, uh, usually when we go to the Lake Skada for example and we make a tour there, people paying for maybe 20 or 30 euros for, for our trip. So when we make this trip now virtually, how much will they pay or will they pay uh, anything uh, for this? I let Panas take care of this question. Well, I would like to say that uh, Michael is uh, right on spot because this is currently the hottest topic in WeView and Nikki mentioned it as the sustainable revenue model. So this has to do all about keeping WeView running as in covering costs, expenses and having the possibility to reinvest some revenue into growing the business, but at the same time keeping the sustainable aspect which is part of the core values that WeView was founded upon. So Michael, it looks like you have a lot of input in that area. So why don't we take this and you help us with your experience, shape a better future for, for WeView. Would you be interested in that? So I can, I can help you, of course, with some quality tours because uh, we are working really hard on this. Uh, I saw some of the tours which have been uh, adverted in the WhatsApp group. And to be honest, I think it's not quite interesting to see somebody with a bike uh, driving around the city and telling something. That's my opinion. So uh, I like uh, to make these things uh, not only with the good content. Of course, content is king. Yes, but uh, and the technical side must be okay. So nobody likes to see pictures which are uh, jittering or sound uh, voice, which is not okay. So there should also be a good um, technical base. So uh, as I told you, we will we will make a test uh, tomorrow for a tour, which can be part on Saturday uh, on Sunday. Excuse me if the technical things uh, we are, will go okay. And uh, of course, I can invite you to take a look what we are doing. Uh, but again, the greatest um, thing for me is how to get my clients uh, for this tour. So we have, of course, a, a big audience already when it comes up to YouTube and our live uh, views and all those things. This is everything okay. But uh, of course, we need a bigger uh, audience for that. So uh, we need somebody helping us in uh, kind of uh, marketing and of course we have to earn a little bit money because when you make this uh, technical on a higher level uh, we have to invest and that's not, uh, that's not uh, a small thing. Naturally. So when it comes to the WeView side we are now using established technology as in mobile phones but the power in WeView lies in the network. So being able to give our user members access to the rest of the qualified users. How many people can give you a tour in Laos, Nigeria, for example? So one aspect is the use of technology, which is an enabling factor, but it is not the main focus of WeView. The main focus of WeView is community, and that is where a sustainable business model plays in. So there's precious little difference between a, let's say, more traditional tourism industry business model and a community-based sustainable business model. So how about we arrange a meeting together with Nikki and Kirsi and we go through that and see what kind of synergies we can develop. Would you be interested? Yes, of course, yes. All right. So, so we don't have guests at the moment. There's plenty of time to be honest, so <laughs> really no problem. <laughs> So at the moment, if I can step in here quickly, at the moment you can just try and struggle around. There are two models that are uh, at the moment. For example, Hauser Exkursionen. This is a big tour operator in Germany. Um, and they started weeks ago and they offer a website. I showed it also to Nikki. It is, let's say, Panos would say it is an old model, but I think it's very effective and it's just there. So they started uh, to put up the website. They have tour guides in their destinations and they said, they set a time 
um, and maybe one hour, something like that. And they take, for example, nine euros or five euros, and you can just step in by Eventbrite or by something like that. Um, and um, they just offer it that the people in the destinations, the tour guides have, let's say, a small income yeah, from that, that they don't have nothing at the moment. Um, and I completely understand Michael, because this is the question we are discussing for months now. So um, community is also a way that you have to earn money. So each of you has to pay the bills. And um, so Michael is coming from, let's say, a professional tour uh, guide perspective, as far as I got it. And normally people come, they pay him and he gives knowledge. And um, if he joins now a community, um, this could be a, a nice side project, but if he's not able to, to earn something in what, let's say, in rebound to his time, I think um, this is a crucial question for how to keep the community alive at the moment. And we have to think about it. One possibility could be people who are taker, they pay something like a monthly fare. Um, like I, I be a member and I want to be a member in the view like in Netflix or wherever in Spotify. Um, these are also huge communities and you pay a member fee. And if you have a lot of members, you can maintain the, the, um, technical side, but you can also pay, um, the contributors, the content people like Michael in that case or other tour guides. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, I guess this uh, next question on the line is, is going a little bit the, the same direction and, and that's, that's been uh, a good discussion so far. Thank you for those. The, the question from Frank uh, has been like, thank you for, first of all for presenting this nice idea. Would you tell us something about the business model? So how money is earned? I guess this has been touched that there are different different ways of doing it and you are building the, the things up. Uh, next question is a little bit uh, different. How do you overcome the issue of time difference for a virtual tourist wanting to experience somewhere that has say a 12 hour time difference? That is from James from Nomadic. So the uh, time difference in guiding. Yes, thank you for asking me this question. As I, in my personal experience, I have uh, had this, uh, I, I don't say problem or issue, but I had this situation when I had my virtual tour guide, virtual tour with America, we had the same time difference. It was a lot, it was in the middle of the night for me, and it was in afternoon for them. But I believe if someone wants to visit some place um, and someone else in that place wants to show that place to that person, they, are, they can manage a time together, they can schedule a time together, and they can put this time and have this tour. I guess it's the matter of motivation and uh, interest, passion, everything that connected these two persons together. Thank you. Um, here is from Jana from Bosnia. Um, some questions. First of all, could you share your email once again, please? Uh, here is housekeeping information for everyone. Um, this um, webinar is being recorded and you will have the full rec recording on the Travel Massive site afterwards with a little wrap up of the session and then also the contact. No? But obviously, we can also share at the end, Nikki, maybe you just put it into, into the chat, your email. So it's a quick, quick win then. Um, uh, a second question from Jana is, are you thinking of including Bosnia as well? I would love to do virtual tours from here. I would say that's a yes without, <laughs> without any hesitation. No? So you have Jana there as, as your first uh, contact in Bosnia now. Could you explain us a bit about the financial aspect of this model. Jana um, 
has there been um, you can also un unmute yourself or we can unmute you uh, you can even say has this been discussed enough or or do you have um, uh, additional question to the to the um, financial aspect let me let us unmute you you hear Jana. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. go ahead. Hi. Yeah, uh, it refers actually to two things. Uh, one is what are terms and conditions of using the platform itself? And the other is uh, how does the tour guide get paid? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Nikki or Anos, will you go on that one? Uh, the terms and conditions uh, right now, we are monitor everyone who enter to the to our platform. We are quite we have qualified members who can, as I said, attract and qualify new and potential people. So we make sure that no one is going to cause problem for other users. And for financial part, uh, as uh, you have Panos, uh, explanations as well but i can add this point that we are having some uh discussions to run a new model of uh financial system but it's uh it's a little early to announce it yet but we are go we are working on that so we have we have it very soon but not yet i guess panos wants to say something well, I can expand a bit on that. So the two of the biggest questions in business is what am I selling? What's my offering? What's my value proposition? And how I monetize? How do we monetize? Otherwise, we are not in business. So the main focus until now is on what the offer is. And I, I believe now you have a better picture of what we view is here to offer. Now the next strategic step is the step to monetize. And in this particular step, the early adopters, the early users of the community have a say, because now we can do statistics, we can get feedback, we can get an opinion from those that are familiar with the use of the platform. And we are collecting ideas at the moment and we welcome your ideas, Michael ideas, to see what would constitute a sustainable way to keep this not just alive but growing and expanding and let me motivate that a little bit have you noticed the focus of the tours so far it's areas that are low income and areas that are hard to access in the physical aspect hard to travel but also this goes the other way around so we view is bilateral. It's not unilateral, it's bilateral. So that's the whole essence of community that we don't only give the privileged ones. I belong to the privileged ones. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say it just happened, but the same thing is true for the less privileged. We don't want anyone to feel embarrassed for being born in a less privileged part of the world. So that is where the essence of sustainability comes in because for community to work, when someone gets a tour, they want to return the favor. Because if you're giving a tour in with you, it's because you feel like it. It's because you know something that you want to show the world. It's not just a business, it's, it's a philosophy, it's an attitude. You see where I'm going with this? So putting the, the right financial structure behind this is of the essence. And who would be better to ask than the members of the community that have already seen, understood, and adopted the use of WeView. So we are currently at this stage. And if you want to have your own input into this, then yeah, let's talk. Okay, thank you, Panos. Here is a question um, from India, Ramya. 
how can I contribute to WeView from the tour inputs point of view? I am from India and can think of a lot of places that would appeal to tourists. How? How, how to contribute? Uh, just, uh, I would be happy if you give us our contact information and we can go further. Okay. And the next next question is uh, from Michelle, uh, pretty much uh, similar, but uh, regarding the WhatsApp group, how can I join you on WhatsApp? No? So your email, your WhatsApp uh, link are being requested. Um, and then there is one more from James. Uh, do your users see the platform as a way to introduce the country or the city before actually visiting it? Or do your users see this as a replacement of a trip? I would guess it can be both. Like from my side, I would say, I would, I would eventually prepare with something and then get that inspiration. And I would know now where to go cycling in Iran and who with, <laughs> yeah. but uh, what, is the, what is the relation there? Are, are people seeing it as a, as a introduction, as a preparation eventually, or as a replacement? That is the question. Thank you for asking this question. I would say both too, because for example, if you want to travel to a country and you don't know anyone there, or you, uh, there is lots of uh, suggestions in traveling that you don't know take which, and you can use locals to know where is best to go, where is best to eat, where is best to visit. And at the same time, there are lots of people in the world who cannot travel to places or countries that they like. So we are here for them too, because if you cannot travel for any reason, you are unable, you cannot um, cover the high cost, or you are not allowed to travel to a country, this is the best opportunity to visit that country. Okay. Um... Here is a next, it's not a question, it's a, suggest, a suggestion from Militza. Uh, she's already thinking uh, with you. I think data analysis is one possible source of income for WeView as they can analyze the behavior and choices of the visitors as well as their interests and make recommendations and analysis based on that. I think there is, there is a good thought in, in that and definitely like an added value to um, anyone uh, then being in that community to also gaining better understanding for potential visitors and, and the ones who have been. Um, can I say? Can I talk? Uh, I agree. Uh, thank you for telling that. And we will work on that too. Thank you. So, um, I see no more questions here in the chat. Now comes Nikki's email address. Um, if there is anyone now who wanted to pose a question, uh, we are happy to take okay. more. And obviously, obviously, uh, the um, uh, connections are now made. So uh, through the Travel Massive portal, you can easily get connected by just following each other and, and, and start changing um, uh, not just emails, but ideas. Uh, Boyana is saying, thanks for sharing this great idea. I'm really interested in how to make connections between your approach with heritage interpretation. Yes, I must uh, say to this, like Boyana is um, in the Interpret uh, Europe, the representative for, for Montenegro. Interpretation, which core is the first hand experience involving all senses and interaction with guests. So that's kind of an, um, um, let's say, additional challenge um, to digital but I guess you have your ideas to that. So please get in contact, Nikki, with, with Boyana about it. And there is the next network, which is Interpret Europe, that you can actually maybe have, start con conversation with. Uh, Mel is asking, is there a website of WeView? 
uh, there was in the presentation, there was one slide which is showing the website like as a work in progress, but I, I guess Nikki you want to say something to the website. I've, I've seen um, some of it and it's going to be great. Mm. Yes, as I said, we had a website. It was uh, online for almost a month, but we, then we had technical issues and we are going to uh, run it again very soon. I, I, don't, I cannot say a certain date today, but very soon is for sure. Okay, maybe Panos, you can share also the URL if it's already public. If not, then that will be shared, I would say in direct communication and Mel, you will be the first one to know. <laughs> well, you have here uh, like from 17 countries, people who want to know, no? so uh, be, be good to everyone. Okay, um, any more questions at this, at this point or are we good for today? Can I say something? Um, Yes, please, please go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, first, I, I was in a rush, so I uh, typed my email first time wrong. Uh, it's the second email address that I put in the chat box. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, for the uh, link to, to our WhatsApp group, I don't have access to it right now, but if you email, uh, you email me in that email, I will send that to you. Uh, to yes, yeah, yes, and and even without email, you can just uh, follow uh, Nikki on 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 Travel Massive and do a direct messaging. Nikki will follow back. No, uh, there is one question. Um, Nikki, can you share your slide with your contact info again on the screen? So that's yeah, that would be a good good slide to to show at the end. Absolutely. Thanks, Panos. Sure, give me some seconds and I'm on it. Okay, while you are doing it, I'm, I'm uh, uh, informing especially all our Montenegrin members, but actually everyone here, um, uh, as we will put out the recording and, and the wrap up on Travel Massive Portal, um, we will also include two questions on Slido, slido.com. And uh, those two questions are about your interest for the future, like uh, for future events like this, either online or um, if you are in the country, then also offline soon, hopefully we can do it also personally, um, about the topics and also the style of, of events that you might wish. So we will share also a little bit of uh, uh, feedback possibility and uh, mail it also to all our members. Okay, um, so here is, here is the uh, contact slide once more. And uh, there is anything else in the chat? No, not at this moment. Okay, we have been 45 minutes and I would say that's a good length of an event. Nick, uh, Militsa, this is insightful. Okay, uh, your Militsa, thank you for your comment about the data value. And yeah, let's build that. Thank you for your excellent recommendation. Okay, good. So new partnerships started right now, right here. And uh, I've been amazed to see um, the digital world come together again, <laughs> again. And uh, I, as I mentioned in the beginning, I think that this COVID cloud definitely has silver linings. Like uh, we are not within our borders of countries anymore. And this is like one of the best demonstrations of it. There is more that connects than divides us. And uh, yeah, I would say thank you from my side for joining us today. And uh, everyone stay safe, stay well, and uh, enjoy traveling digital or in real life very soon. Um, and I would say we can close the session for today.
everything else will be then on the page. Thank you so much.